Greetings to the fans, Nelson Gaspar here for Nelson Gaspar Drives. Now when you wanted a fuel efficient vehicle, you pretty much had to buy a compact car. It had enough room for two or three people and some overnight bags and that was pretty much it. Now what if I was to tell you, you can get into a large mid-size SUV, have enough seating for eight passengers, and have fuel efficiency that's even better than that little compact car. You'd say, Nelson, I think you fell out of the crazy tree and hit every branch on the way down. Well, you'd be wrong because this vehicle delivers on all those fronts. I'd like to introduce to you right here, the 2020 Highlander Hybrid. So this is gonna be a little bit of a different video. I'm not gonna go over too many details of the exterior and interior, because I just did that with my video recently on the 2020 Highlander, the gasoline version. So just click on the link here on the screen. It'll take you to that. What I want to focus on is why this Highlander Hybrid is the best Highlander to buy. Okay, let's get underway here. I got a theory, okay? Hear me out. Toyota knows its market. It knows who buys its vehicles, and it knows how those people drive the cars that they buy. Right? They're, they're pretty smart at figuring that kind of stuff out. So... Who's the target market for this vehicle? Well, it's families. This is a family hauler. What is that family gonna be doing with their Highlander? Well, they're gonna go drive the kids and take them to activities. Mom and dad are gonna go out to Costco on the weekend and fill up the cargo area with massive skids of head-sized chocolate chip muffins. They're gonna go and visit grandparents on the weekend and they're gonna do road trips. You're not gonna be gunning the throttle at 100% and doing full burnout uh, launches zero to 100 kilometers an hour as fast as you can. You're gonna be driving the car in and out of traffic, through the city, some highway driving. So for all those driving scenarios, a hybrid powertrain is gonna give you everything that you need and give you the efficiency that you deserve. You don't need to have a big V6 engine when you're driving little Johnny to the hockey game. You don't need a huge V6 engine when you're pulling up at Costco, loading up the vehicle. This vehicle delivers, and it has actually very similar performance figures to the V6. The V6 has 295 horsepower. This vehicle makes 243 horsepower using three engines, a 2.5 liter gasoline engine and two electric motors, one on the front tires and one on the back tires. The electric motor on the back kicks in when the vehicle needs all wheel drive or when it needs extra power boost to accelerate or pass or overtake. Electric motors provide instant torque and torque is the get up and go part of the engine that makes the car go. And that's what you want in a vehicle when you're accelerating is torque. And with our hybrid setup, you can still tow 3,500 pounds of this vehicle so that's enough for a small trailer or a small boat that you can load up the family and have a nice adventure in the summer. At the end of the day, this vehicle has 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers. That is actually still less than a 2020 Corolla. And this vehicle carries eight people and has all wheel drive. It's like mind blowing. All right, now a hybrid powertrain is also most effective at harnessing energy that would normally be lost in a conventional car. Let's face it, internal combustion engines are kind of inefficient. The vehicle's combustion doesn't harness all the energy that's being produced in there. A lot of it is, is lost through heat. So just think of the battery as a big recycling bin, the tin cans, the plastic containers, etc. Instead of throwing them out, and taking up space in a landfill, the recycling company can break it down and reuse those materials. And that's exactly how this battery works. For example, I'm driving down this road here and the gasoline the engine is on right now. The engine's creating more energy than it needs to push the car forward at this speed. So what is it doing? The electric motor is turning into a generator and it's taking that excess power that's generated by the gas engine and putting it as electricity in the battery to use later. Really impressive about the Highlander Hybrid and even this base model, which is what I'm driving right now, it's an LE base model. It has a lot of content. It has standard as equipment, power driver seat, power tailgate, fog lights, and a leather wrapped steering wheel, all of which you can't get 
when you buy the base model LE V6 gasoline engine Highlander. So even though this one is $2,000 more, you do get more equipment and with that incredible fuel economy, you'll be able to make that money back in fuel savings in just over two years of regular driving. We all know hybrids are more efficient, right? But another factor we don't often consider is emissions. Natural Resources Canada has a scale for that, and it's right on the window sticker of the car. There's a CO2 rating. It's on a scale of one to 10, one being the worst and 10 being the best in terms of producing the least amount of CO2. The Highlander Hybrid, it's an eight out of 10 on that scale, whereas the regular V6 is a five out of 10. The environmental impact of reducing your CO2 emissions is another really, really important aspect and another huge reason why it's a better choice to buy this vehicle. In the end, the Highlander Hybrid is the best Highlander to get. Period. It gives you the efficiency that you demand and the power when you need it. It's a comfortable ride. It's very, very quiet, much quieter than the gasoline version. And this eCVT planetary gear transmission is seamless. It's smooth, there's no shifts. It gives you a very smooth ride. And in the end, you're doing your part to reduce emissions and saving on a bunch of fuel. And to me, that's a recipe for success. So that about wraps up things for now. Thanks for watching this video of the 2020 Highlander Hybrid. I think you'll agree with me that this is the very best Highlander to purchase. But if you have any questions or want to take a close look at things for yourself, contact me at the information below here and we can explore it together. Until then, this is Nelson Gaspar and I approve of this message. Later.